in this session we will be studying the microwave spectrometer its techniques and instrumentation this microwave spectrometer uses a principle called stark modulation effect we know the stark effect is nothing but splitting of spectral lines due to the external electric field so basing on this principle we will discuss further the microwave spectrometer this is the schematic diagram of the microwave spectrometer on the left side we have a clustron power supply and clustron source this source gives out radiation this radiation is guided by the wave guide this wave guide at the one end we have mica window another end also we have another micro mica window the first one allows the clistron radiation to pass through inside the sample cell and the second mica window allows to pass out the radiation the sample cell has a provision to pump out the gaseous molecules in the middle of the sample cell we have a stark electrode fixed in the halfway between the metallic sample cells and we have a, a crystal detector made up of silicon crystal which detects the radiation from the crystal detector the modulated signal is amplified and then it is fed into the oscilloscope and then recorder the stark electrode is given a square square wave potential from 0 to 2000 volt thereby a potential is maintained in the sample cell and the radiation from clistron is modulated due to the stark effect and the modulated waves are received by the crystal detector and then amplified fed into the recorder we will see one by one the source and monochromatic crystal valve is a monochromatic source which emits the radiation over a very narrow frequency range and this frequency can be varied electronically and the spectrum can be scanned over a limited time because it is, it gives very narrow frequency range and the beam from the clistron source is guided by the wave guides made up of copper and silver the sample and the sample cells usually the samples are uh, gas gases gas materials are placed and very small amount of pressure is enough to get the spectrum commonly a stark modulation technique is used there inside the cell the sample cell usually will have 3 to 4 meter it can have a provision to a back bit the radiation is allowed to pass through window 1 and pass out window 2 there is a metal strip mounted off way between two faces of the wave guide by injecting 0 to 2000 volt zero based square wave potential this is the external electric field given to the radiation between the metallic plate and the wave guide the resonant frequency can be modulated by stark effect 
We know the Stark effect is nothing but shifting and splitting of spectral lines of atoms and molecules due to the presence of the electrical field. So the modulation is followed by a phase lock detector which responds only the molecular resonances. Here the resonance comes between the gas kept in the sample cell and the radiation from the cluster source in the atmosphere of electric field of its potential 0 to 2000 volt. The cell background is eliminated by stark monograph. And we have finally the detector at the end. It is made up of silicon crystal in the coaxial cartridge. It is fixed there. The incoming radiation gives rise to the DC current there. The crystal receives the modulated frequency and then uh, finally we have a rise of DC current. This DC current is recorded by the stark spectrograph and it is a transmitted radiation modulated. Then uh, on resonance a small square wave is imprinted on the top of the DC signal. This small AC component is amplified and detected by a phase sensitive detector which is connected to the oscilloscope and chart recorder. Here the signal to noise ratio is much uh, um, possible only when the modulation frequency is in the optimum of 3200 kHz. So I hope uh, now you might have understood. Here the stark modulation effect is produced inside the sample cell. The frequency of radiation from the cluster and the frequency of gas when it get resonated, the absorbed frequency is modulated and then fed into the silicon crystal coaxial detector and then again it is fed to the stark spectrograph finally to the oscilloscope and chart record. So that's how we record the gaseous sample in the sample cell using stark modulation effect in the microwave spectrometer. Thank you.